Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assemble gears in Space Claim. We will consider this uh, assembly in GrabCAD named Gear Transmission. So, as you can see, I have downloaded the SolidWorks file and uh, select all files, Gear Transmission, open. So the assembly file is open in space claim. As you can see, we have two components and uh, these are normal spur gears. We now need to define different assembly conditions between these. So before that, I would uh, give an overview of uh, spur gears. If you look at a diagram like this, this is one gear, this is the other, other gear we need to find this pitch point and uh, that is somewhere here between these the line joining the centers of these two circles so to find that we would have to determine the distance between this circle and this circle we go to measure it says 88 mm okay now we all would need a point here pitch point and the distance, the ratio of the distance between these two centers with the pitch point is e equivalent with the ratio of the number of uh, teeth in these two gears. So to find out the number of teeth in the driving gear, so we click on this protrusion. So there's a selection tab, click on all coaxial protrusion so this would give us the number of teeth it says 12 faces so number of teeth in the driving gear is 12 and in the driven we see it as 45 faces so we know that the number of teeth ratio is 12 is to 45 now let's uh, to create a we'll start with a circle we'll click on this circle we need to first create a uh, select this surface on which the sketch is plotted we have created a sketch now click on the center and this has to be uh, remember that diameter the distance between these two was 88 so the diameter of this circle would be 88 into 2 into 12 divided by 45 plus 12 that is 57 okay so this is our first circle similarly we need to draw a circle from here either we can go directly and make it tangent or we'll go the way we had done earlier 88 into 2 into here it would be 45 this is the number of teeth in this gear divided by total number of teeth 57 so now once that is done will uh, select these two circles right click and go to construction on off so the idea is uh, we don't want to make a solid right now we would create uh, uh, surfaces okay we select these two curves which are construction curves and randomly pull this so the dimension could be anything this is for our uh, gearing uh, mating purpose okay so once we are done with this so we are all set to start creating the uh, constraints so, so we also need to move these actually so we have created this surface in the assembly so we can just drag it and drop it here so this solid and this surface are together now similarly we drop this here okay and uh, we need to create revolute joints along this axis and along this axis for that uh, we don't have any grounded part here so what would we do is we just go to insert this is axis we select this this is one axis that is created at assembly level similarly we want another work axis over here so that is also created as you can see oops this didn't create properly let's do it again go to insert then I select 
this okay and this time we have it right okay now we all set let's start with revolute joints uh, since this is driving we select this cylinder surface first of the gear and this axis so remember like we have selected one of the component and another of the axis click on align so align would create a, a cylindrical uh, condition so that is done so we also need to do between this and we can select circle or cylinder anything should be fine control select and then click on align okay so that 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 is done oops there is something wrong here let's undo it okay the axis was not at the center looks like I I'll have to create another axis this time I'll select this okay looks good now select this and this and click on align okay this time we can see There's one align there. There's another align here. Okay, and we need to uh, define this and this and make them tangent. Okay, so so far so good. Now we just need to create a gear condition. So to do that, we select this surface and this surface and click on gear. So that's it. We are all set. Let's see. We move go to move. And we select this component and we start moving it so this is how you create a gear condition inside space claim especially for the components that are imported from other CAD software so I'll just give a brief introduction to SC motion which is a motion dynamic simulation add-in for space claim which is listed as a ribbon tab click on start it loads up and uh, all the components all the joints are here so if you select on this the corresponding joint is highlighted so we right click on it and say set joint input and uh, we say give a rotation of 360 degrees per second and number of steps we can increase to 100 and we just start simulation simulation is done now you can see that we are giving a constant rotation for the input uh, gear okay this is about uh, external gears in the next video i'm going to cover the internal gears thanks for watching